Hello internet, welcome back. Now I've got a big project coming up. It's going to take quite a bit of planning. It's going to be the most complex project I've done since the hamster elevator. Here's a sneak peek. Ah. So today I'm going to do a simple repair video. So I've got enough time to do the planning and everything else for the next video. Or maybe the video, the video after. So without further ado, this is Azale's TV. Let's repair something. Now, first thing I'm going to do is remove these blind slats just to make this a bit easier. Here we go. Oh, boy. That was a pain. Okay. Here's a problem. This string threads under this pulley. It threads through the centre of these, right up to the very end, this outer shot of the camera, round another pulley, and then attaches to this. So when I pull it, it pulls that, which pulls all of these sequentially along. But unfortunately, the other end of the string is meant to thread through this hole here, over this pulley, or underneath this pulley rather, and attach directly to this so that you pull this string and it pulls all this closed again so I'm going to have to thread this through here through all of these and reattach it to this which looks to be very 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 fiddly right I think what I need to do uh This one's got a bushing right there. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. That bushing there, when, I when you rotate this, it turns all of these around like that and opens and closes the blinds that way. So that you've got like a spline shaft running the entire length of the blind. And that bushing stops this end piece from moving. Is that end piece that stays still? Well, all, all of these move relative to it like that. So if I pull, there we go. So that will stay there now. So if I pull this over this way, and so here we go. so long it's not balancing properly on the table. I've got tweezers here to grab hold of the end of the string as I thread this through. Oh, that was easy, okay. Now I need to thread this through one of these holes, which one? the raw okay that's strange let's just put it for this one here the very middle hole mm. actually I'll push all this this way hopefully I can thread this through all of these at once let's use the tweezers again
think that's a good end. There we go. Yes, here we go. Right. Excellent. Now this attaches to here. I need to work out why it's detached. Yeah. Okay, looks like it screws in. So here. Okay, what can you see in it? Let's have a look. Mm, not that well. It threads through in it. This little grub screw here, little set of screw clamps down on this bit of string which isn't very secure by the looks of it oh it's actually broken that's why it's come off okay oh dear that's gonna be an epoxy job let's get some epoxy Something is definitely up. Right. Okay, cool. Now what I'm gonna do, because this is broken down in there, that screw is not going to hold it, and it's not going to hold it for very long. So I'm going to attach it somewhere. Actually, I'm going to thread it back through this hole. I think there's a hole here. Let's have a look. Yes, perfect. So I'll put some glue both inside there and in that hole. Thread this back through. Actually, for good measure, I'll thread it back through this other hole in here. That will really, that's not going to go anywhere then. Fantastic. Okay, I'll do that. Let's mix up some epoxy. This is super fiddly. Everything wants to move around. The holes are too big for the string, really, so nothing's holding in place properly. I can't really clamp anything. Oh boy, okay. Um, So really can't get any epoxy on a string that's next to it. Just in case I need to repair that or do anything to that. Ooh,
Joker is not doing much at this point anyway because it's broken so it's not attaching to anything. That's going to take a number of hours to cure. I'll put it in the air and cupboard because the warm atmosphere will help it along. And then we'll come back to that and see how it is. It's the next day and the epoxy has fully cured. Next, what I'm going to do is pull the other end of that string back through the other hole, tie a knot in it, and then clamp this screw back down, and that will tighten up that end. I don't really have anywhere, anywhere I can epoxy it, so I'll just tie a knot and hope that's alright. Oh, it's stiff, jeez. This is, this is a um, plasticky thread, so I can actually melt this knot to stop it coming undone. And let's go get a lighter. Flames! Awesome. Fantastic, right. Tremendous. Let's reinstall that. Well, that was my first repair video for this channel. If you like that, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Um, subscribe to keep up date with regular videos. I put out a new video every Tuesday. And hope to see you again soon. Thanks and bye-bye.